What's up? What's up? All right. So, what's up with Jay again? I got to somebody please explain something to me. What in the world is my fellow soldiers, my battles, my my boys? What in the world y'all doing? Attacking your own government. Look at this. Among President Donald Trump's supporters at the U.S. Capitol, a group of men wearing helmets and body armor who walked in single file formation. Unfortunately, it isn't a surprise to me that law enforcement and, and military members have participated in, in this kind of event. These 21 this is a problem current or that, former members of U.S. military or law enforcement have been identified as being at or at near least a dozen Capitol. others are under investigation. Those identified include a retired Navy SEAL who posted on Facebook that he was at the Capitol but didn't go inside, and an Army veteran who founded the Oath Keepers as a reaction to Barack Obama's presidency. Several people at the Capitol could be seen wearing Oath Keepers patches, along with other tactical gear. People already arrested include a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel from Texas and two Virginia police officers who were photographed, while some who were at the Capitol told AP they did nothing more than exercise their First Amendment rights. Videos and photos suggest others may have used training meant to protect the country to mount an assault on Amid worry own. about renewed violence on Inauguration Day, the military's top leaders issued a highly unusual reminder to all service members that last week's deadly insurrection was an anti-democratic criminal act. The Pentagon declined, but a spokesman said they are working with the Department of Justice. Police departments across the country have launched their own investigations of any members who participated in the riot. Krista Fourier, Associated Ow. Press. Now, I understand you guys are upset that the election didn't go your way, and, and that's it. Nothing makes it, if I don't get my way, we are gonna attack and kidnap and do all this other crazy shit. Like, what in the world is going on with y'all? And you wearing or you used to be in some form of the military, one branch or another, and you attacking your own government and you think nothing is gonna happen to you? <sighs> so, you scream stuff that y'all wanna be free and freedom of speech, freedom to carry guns, and I guess freedom to scream and yell. And you say, this is what y'all want. And the crazy thing is, they have given this to you over the last four years. You guys have run around screaming, yelling, cussing, fussing, carrying guns, talk about you need this and need that, and they gave it to you. Now that you didn't win at the end, you're mad. Thing is, someone served with you guys. Someone thought you might have been a good dude at the time, not knowing that you was a piece of crap. And you call yourself a patriot. So y'all redefine some shit and now call yourselves patriots and we going out and destroy people who don't think the way we think but this America, and you got the freedoms to do whatever, except think the way you think. Now picture that shit. The same ones running around here screaming about all this freedoms, I'm sorry, all these freedoms, <laughs> are the same ones telling you that you don't have freedoms, that you need to do what we tell you to do and how we tell you to do it, or you're going to get it. They say. It was like real military that was out there helping these people take over the government. And my, my, men, my, my mental state is saying, isn't that what we were fighting to keep from happening with other countries coming in, taking over, and doing all this crazy stuff? You know, I served over 20 years. I got friends that served over 20 years. We all been deployed several times. We all been in some shit. And when we all in that situation, we all working together. 
So to come back knowing how bad it is in some other areas and try to destroy your own government, something's got to be wrong. I mean, this is a whole shit show. Let's just be for real. Somebody still wants to be in charge of something because you have probably five or six different groups or even more all trying to come together, and but they all there for different things and different reasons. So it'll just be a matter of time before they decide somebody need to lead them and go by what I think. So then they're going to fall apart because they still have their ideologies on how they want to do this shit. So nobody had a plan. That crazy thing is once they got in the damn building, <laughs> they stood around and like, where are they at? Uh, what are we supposed to do now? You know, what knucklehead got his phone out flipping pages, trying to take pictures to my, something must be here somewhere, you know, they walk around in the building with zip ties, all this combat gear, and you come in after some old 60 year old fucking people who never been in, half of them never been in the military, let alone combat. But if it were, they weren't in there with, the, with guns and vests and all this other stuff. So you come prepared like a soldier to combat a civilian. Now how stupid do you sound? Then you got your people falling behind you like you still some kind of, oh, I'm a leader. And you probably was shit when you was in the military. This whole thing was fucking embarrassing. Let's just be real. For the military, for law enforcement, fire department, um, shit, some of your neighbors. That's why people turn your asses in. It's just embarrassing. All over the world, shit's embarrassing. Because a couple of you fucking clowns want to be in charge of something. Y'all running around with your bull horns. Let's take this shit back. Let's take it back. Looking like fucking clowns. What's well, even funnier, when you see some of these dudes with those fucking, um, all that combat gear on, look like they about 300 fucking pounds. And the vest supposed to be covering up their chest and, you know, their midsections and their stomach is only covering up <laughs> this part of them got their damn stomach sticking out down here. <laughs> So you just shit the fuck in the stomach. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, y'all fucking clowns. Then y'all run around there all this crazy shit. Like, if y'all had to run across a field, you wouldn't even make it. And y'all climbing up the side of the buildings and all this shit and looking like a bunch of fucking roaches, you know. Y'all y'all hysterical, man. You know, I hope y'all proud of yourselves while y'all in fucking jail. That's, that, cause that's where you're going. <laughs> oh, you guys have had that retirement. Y'all, you seen that memo that came out? And they're gonna take your fucking retirement from you. So you're gonna spend all these years. And now they're gonna take your money from you. So if you get out of jail, you don't lost a, a portion of your income. So, hey man, you should have thought about that shit before you decide to go attack the people that still paying you. You know, but hey, what I know, I'm just a retired soldier myself, so fuck it. Y'all do that crazy shit on your own time. I retired to be retired. You still wanna run around here and act a fool? Go right ahead, cause uh, these federal charges ain't no fucking joke. <laughs> and you go to see that. Why, like so, one dude, what? He don't eat, um, he's vegetarian. Or organic, eat organic food. And uh, he's locked up in jail. And his mom tell me, well, if he needs organic food, it's like, oh, okay. You know, keep on saying that shit. Some dude gonna give him some organic food in a damn. <laughs> but, you know, it's all fun and games when you out here yelling and screaming in the streets. And you cross that damn line, and now your ass behind bars. And as a matter of fact, why hadn't you bailed him out? If he's so, you know, Where's, where's all that? You know, he been running around for shit, I know for a year, all over the place, dressed like that clown ass shaman, shaman, whatever he said he is. You know, I guess that's just a way of giving him something to do while he do nothing and live off his mom. But, hey man, 
Y'all clowns do what you want to do. All I can tell you is, your ass going to jail. And um, don't feel sorry for you. All right, peace. And don't forget, hit the red button below. Share, comment, and subscribe. See y'all.